What are we allowed to say? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> For us, the most important thing is keeping our community together, uh, making sure that no matter who you are, what platform you play on, you have the same great experience. Yeah. My name's Craig McLeod, and I'm the executive producer on Payday 3. Cool. For me, one of the most important things is really drawing the right learnings from our mistakes in the past. The history of the console editions of Payday 2 Mm. is the rockiest of roads that we yeah. have had, right? Because we were speaking of bumps in the road, and I think our console heisters are the ones that have uh, gotten the brunt of it, really. And I think it's super unfortunate, because a fact is they do not deserve it. On the contrary, it's our fault historically, whether it's been technical challenges that we've had as a studio, an inability essentially to deliver them the experience they want. I will say historically, as crossplay really hasn't been a thing, there have been limitations on technology. Should it like necessarily be like, oh, absolve them 100% of everything? Like, remember, I the uh, the the safe cracking stuff, the quote unquote loot box safe thing, uh, that actually killed my enjoyment of the game for the longest time. But they removed that pretty quick in comparison to a lot of other companies. To be fair, so I mean, like there have been technological limitations that have prevented them from doing certain things. And as far as I'm aware, uh, while I haven't played on console, I've had the privilege of playing on PC and gaming laptops. Console performance and console updates just have suffered in comparison. So how are we working with consoles now? I mean, consoles are, you know, first and foremost in our minds because we're very conscious of the fact that they were dropped previously. We are committed to making sure that all of our releases are across PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox X and S. Um, and you'll notice that when I'm saying this, I'm saying we are only on the latest generation of consoles, and there's a uh -huh. reason for this. Yeah. The reason is because we realized that to create the best version of the game that we could, we want to be on the latest technology. Right. I think that's completely fair. I mean, you're going to get your Xbox bros, you're going to get your Xbox One bros, you're going to get your uh, uh, PS4 bros being like, well, why can't I have this game? You know, I've been waiting how long? You know, I, I want this game. I want it on this console. I mean, uh, Xbox One, from my understanding, has completely stopped support uh, as far as games being printed on it. Uh, PS4 is antiquated now right i mean people still play ps4 don't get me wrong um but as far as like updates as far as you know games actively being printed as, as far as you know outliers aside i mean pretty much the support has moved on to this current generation um so i mean i think this is completely fair especially if especially if this makes this game more stand out and more stable and a better experience on console i'm absolutely for this we have a vision of creating one payday community so to do this, we need to tie everything together. Yeah. For us, that's Starbreeze Nebula. Yeah. By having our own accounts yeah. to tie things together with, we're able to have an easy first step to enable things like cross-progression that might otherwise need complicated solutions in order to work. We create Starbreeze Nebula so we can maintain a single community across all platforms, okay. instead of having to divide people who, in essence, are all fans of the same game. I think whatever tools we decide to create at Starbreeze are to the benefit of the players okay. and our ability to make the best games we can. I think it's that simple, right? I, like you touched on, I understand that there are some that might be apprehensive towards signing up for new things, but the players have to remind themselves, I think, that we're here to build something beautiful over right. a long period of time. Yeah. And in order to do that, you need to set the proper technical foundation in order to achieve that. So here's the thing is that you can't compare Payday 2 as it is now and then Payday 3 launches, right? Well, Payday 2 has the golden spoon. Payday 2 has, you know, uh, the the uh, less so high is Payday 2 has Scarface, right? You know, this game has been out for how many? Like a decade at this point, right? Payday 2? So I mean, like, that's not a fair comparison. It's like when people compare Destiny 2 Lightfall to Destiny 2 Forsaken. Oh, Forsaken was so much better. Okay. I have on authority that while Forsaken was coming out, people did have issues with a lot of the pacing, a lot of the things being locked behind certain seasons within Forsaken. It's going to be the same thing, right? Where you have to set your expectations of there's not going to be as much to do in Payday 2 as or Payday 3 as there is in Payday 2 right now. It's just unreasonable to assume so. They are going to be building from a base platform going up. Think Final Fantasy, A Realm Reborn, as now we have Shadow Keepers, Heaven's Ward, uh, almost a Nightfall, <laughs> and Walker, etc., right? You know, it's temper your expectations accordingly. As far as this, the Nebula account, I mean, that 
kind of worries me. Not that this is an instant turn off of the product, don't get me wrong. I don't play on different consoles. I really don't. I mean, I could maybe get an Xbox Series X. I've been debating on it, actually. Really debating on it for a little bit. Because uh, I still do play Xbox from time to time. Um, you know, as if I can use my, like like my Epic account, if I can use my Steam account, it's that's still tied to it. I mean, sure, I'm okay with that. If we if it's going to be like Call of Duty status, where you have the, the, the Call of Duty... Um, I can't even remember what it is like your Activision account, right? Okay, maybe that's going to be a turn off for me. I, I, I'm a little, I'm indifferent on this decision as of now, but I do understand where they're going, and I do think that this is, um, I do think that this is a relevant thing as far as that this will fix the issue supposedly of if I were to play Destiny two on PC, right, and I were to go to my Xbox, I could, I will not have all my stuff that I do on my on my PC. I won't have my uh, Forsaken, I won't have Lightfall, I won't have Witch Queen because I have not bought it on Xbox. Therefore, if you use your Starbreeze account to buy all the DLC, or say you redeem the gold golden badger spoon if it allegedly ever comes into the game right and it's tied to the starbreeze account you can go from pc to playstation to xbox you know and you could go back and forth between those i do see this as being a net positive if executed correctly what would be my message to the payday 3 community um i want to say thank you for being so welcoming actually uh it's really great to be invited into the the payday community into the family I think we're going to do something great over the coming years, and I'm yeah. just really excited to be a part of it with all of you. I'd like to give a shout out to all the console players out there who over the years, even though it's been a bumpy road, have decided to stick with us through thick and thin and support us. And I'd just like to say thank you for your support and that we as a studio salute you and thank you for that. And we're looking to make our best effort in, in making you a happy heister. Oh, that's a good answer. Oh, yeah? Yeah! yeah that was good, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Nico's gonna post a 40 minutes blooper reel on just you. Honestly, it's on very intro, possible, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you, what did you just say? I said that... Uh, I really liked one part of it. Yeah, yeah. one at part of end, it. Only. Yeah, fuck. So, let me... And so, I totally forgot where the fuck I was going. You wanted me to do parry. <laughs> so, paid it... Whatever. About the... Yeah, I'm going all over the place and losing it, so yeah. But there was a good part of it somewhere in there. I mean, I've already said that I think that they have earned us. The Payday team has earned me pre-ordering. I don't really ever pre-order things anymore, really. Because I've gotten shot. There was the Pokemon Sun and Moon, right? Uh, I think it was based Sun and Moon. And, oh, you're supposed to get a steel case. And then they from GameStop, they were saying that you were to get a steel case of each of these. And, oh, well, no, 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 they decided they didn't want to do that. And it's like, you know, I've gotten burned by pre-orders before. Um, you know, I, I will not be pre-ordering Final Shape as much as I play Destiny. I will not be pre-ordering Final Shape. I'll be getting it. I probably will get the Big Boy Edition. Uh, that way all the seasons are paid for at a lesser rate. However, uh, pre order is not something I usually do. I think Payday's team has earned this. I think that they've been pretty transparent they have a good experience i feel that they're leading with a good foot in comparison to a lot of other companies the starbreeze account does you know there's there's worry in the back of my mind because other companies have done weird things with it but i mean i'm not it's not going to be a turn off to the game uh someone also in chat mentioned the the double barrel shotgun having three shots I, I to that i say when have we ever expected super hyper realism from payday i mean let's take a look at stoic right you just uh Stoic perk deck, you just, you just take a swig from your flask and heal all your ailments, and you keep on going. <laughs> they have a fun engine. They got a fun gameplay loop. I will definitely be supporting them, and uh, we'll see where this goes.